So you took the chair role in, um, in June, the chair of BBPA. BBPA is the European network of investors for impact and impact finance. What, uh, what is the role that impact finance can play uh, yeah. is to, to, uh, to address this unprecedented crisis? Well, I think there's a really big role that impact finance can play, largely because by design, impact finance is willing to take risks that perhaps mainstream finance won't take. Impact finance is willing to test untested approach, approaches that you don't see in mainstream financers. Impact finance puts impact first, and that influences what decisions it makes and where it goes. And given the depth of the systemic crisis that we are in, we need more of that. And one reason why I put my hand up uh, to become the chair of EVPA, I'm very honored to have been elected chair, <laughs> is that there's no time to lose. And I really do believe that EVPA is such a unique group of diverse investors across that continuum of capital, whether it's philanthropic capital, all the way down to impact investors and even mainstream capital, who all want to use the power of the money that they put behind something to create impact. And that is really unique. And given the crisis situation that we're in, we need us all to stand up and do more and also collaborate as well. Yes. Um, so I'm excited for this challenge. Um, but I do think that you know, the sense of urgency means we can't sit back anymore. We need to act. Yes, yeah, so you talk about kind of a, a, a variety of impact, uh, uh, impact finance actor from philanthropy to mainstream uh, finance and this, the power of collective action that mm -hmm. these impact actors can play. Uh, what are we doing right and what could we do better as a community um, to, to really move more capital for impact? Mm -hmm. Well, I think what's working is that we have effectively moved out of the niche small group of impact investors, maybe a couple philanthropy players, to really welcoming more of the mainstream players into the fray. Pension managers, other asset managers, banks. I mean, we're seeing a lot of different actors that are starting to embrace impact investing, mm -hmm. uh, which is exciting um, because I think every investor should be an impact investor. Um, so that, that's a good thing. I think where we fall short, however, is that it still is small compared to the size of the financial sector. I don't think the right incentives yet are in place on a national and even international level. Um, if we're looking at carrots and sticks from a policy angle, I wouldn't say that investors yet are incentivized mm. to put impact first. So there's yeah. work to be done on the policy side, and I know that there's a lot of actors working on that. Um, and I also think that there's a lot of work to be done on the corporate side, because what's exciting about the corporate sector is, again, there is this urgency to stand up and react to this climate crisis we're in, and you see more and more companies embracing, say, science-based targets. That's yeah. very exciting. Um, but we're not yet seeing corporate standing up and embracing you know, investing for impact at a large scale. Um, yeah. And that runs the risk of being pilots, whereas business as usual continues. And what we really need to do is try to help corporates get out of this, let's optimize our current business model with a little bit of impact and move to let's transform our business model so that everything we do is done with purpose.